Welcome to video number four of living life outside of pickup. Flow state without awareness is incredibly destructive. That's what I want to give you today. And it's under the understanding of the benefits of flow state, but how flow state without being able to pull back when need, when need be in any situation can be incredibly distasteful and destructive for you. Also, how to combine flow state and awareness so that you can be the most powerful mix in whatever it is that you do. As you know, flow state is so beautiful. It is. When you get into this zone where you feel like, man, I can just flow with the energy that's going, you feel like you can't be stopped. You finally feel like you're out of your head and you're engaged in whatever you're doing. That's the incredibleness of being in flow state. Flow state affords you the chance to not be self-conscious. When you're totally engaged in what you're doing, I don't care what it is. And as you guys know, this video is about living life outside of pickup, but pickup is one great thing where somebody can get into great flow. Or whether you're dancing, you can get into great flow. Or whether you are doing some activity that challenges you, you can get into great flow. It's so amazing how flow affords you the chance to be able to do whatever you want to do without any thought. This is why people get addicted to it, because it gives you the chance to be able to totally throw yourself in. Before people even knew, I would say, about flow state, they just knew that they felt good about something. They felt good about, you know what, when I do something, I, I can just be totally with it and I don't have to think about anything else. I can be so here that I forget about time. Because everything seems to pass you by when you're totally engaged in something. But I must tell you that you're rolling with flowing energy. You're flowing with the energy. It's, it's great. You're flowing with it. But the thing about it is... It's so flowing and it's so beautifully going somewhere that if you just continue down that path, you will not know that this in itself can be a destruction. That's what it is. Flow state is so incredibly moving and not stopping that if you get on board, if you go with the grain, if you go with the flow, if you go with it, you'll feel like, fuck, I never felt this before or there's no stoppage to this you will feel this and that's the greatness behind it this is why everybody talks about it they talks about they talk about being in flow state they talk about you know when you're doing something you need to challenge yourself challenge yourself to the point where you can go 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 challenge 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 your breakthrough now you don't even have to think about the challenge anymore because you're with the energy, you're flowing with it, you're able to just go. This is why everybody talks about it because people know what it's like to be at a standstill. They know what it's like to see a challenge, not want to go do it, and then feel regret about it. But people, are even, people have built systems, people have built all kinds of things to be able to get you more into flow state. Like, you know what? You can start to do things where you are putting yourself in a good mood because this is one way to get yourself in flow is to put yourself in a great mood by doing something. So maybe you want to go out there and you want to start doing something that challenges you. But to even be able to do that because of all the drawback that you're looking at, you need to listen to something that you love. And I was just telling the guy this today. Listen to something that you love. Relax a little bit. Do this and do that. And as you do these things, this will get you in a place where energy is starting to move. Now you're not just coming from a standstill trying to go get challenge. You have some energy rolling with you. And as you roll with that, you start to go through boom, challenge. Now you have a little bit of energy to do that for the next challenge. And for the next challenge to the point where when you break through, you now don't have to worry about challenge because now it's just so easy and you're totally engaged. This is the beauty behind flow state. 
This is the beauty about it. We love it so much. People talk about it so much. Because remember, everybody's struggling with being at a standstill and not moving somewhere. That's what everybody's struggling with, so to speak. But as much as flow state has all this amazingness about it, flow state also has a harsh drawback. I started to notice that flow state is something that's so beautiful to me that you know what? I want to roll with it. And the main thing that I was doing this with was when I was going on talking to girls. I want to roll with it. I want to be to a point where I don't have to think about what's happening right now. I don't have to think about how hard this situation is. I could just go do it. This is one of the strongest ways that I use flow state. And after going out and going out and going out, I was always looking for the moment where I could use it. All the moments where I would see women walking down the street, I would just go, oh, this feels so good. I can just run over and do it. And I would run over. But then I started to become aware of something. And this is what you need to become aware of, is that I can go right now I can move and I can go do this. I'm in a good zone, but for some reason I can't pull back. I can flow right now, I can move and go with it, but I can't simmer down. Why can't I simmer down? I feel like this is me, you know, now losing the energy. Why can't I just simmer down when I know in this situation right here, it demands it from me? And you have to forgive the rustling of the wind. It might have, it might have the sound of shh. That's just the wind and the, uh, the, the rustling of the, uh, the, the leaves on the tree. But why can't I do this? That's what came to me. And of course, as you guys know, me being someone who talks so much about awareness, I started to become aware of when someone is in flow state, when I'm in flow state, I struggle because... I'm battling, pulling back. Because I was just at a standstill. I don't want to have to stop this moving energy so that I move backwards into what's happening right now. Why can't I just pull it back? Why can't I see this situation right here and see, okay, now I'm doing too much. Now I need to pull back. Why can't I do that? I started to see that it's because I wasn't being aware. My awareness started to let me see that if I am not aware of this flow that's happening inside of me, if I'm not aware as it's happening, this will be destructive. That's the flip side of flow state. Flow state is incredibly beautiful, but on the other side, it's destructive alone. By itself, it is not the most powerful thing that you can have when you when it when it comes to doing something in this world it is not flow state that is not the most powerful thing flow state alone so to speak can move you somewhere but there's no simmer with flow flow can only take you but it can't put you at a standstill it can't be, let you become aware it can't make you sit outside in and go right now this is a moment for me to pull back you may notice this even in your work you get so much in the zone maybe you're doing something you're typing away you're doing something you get so far into the zone that you can't you can't pull back you can't you can't simmer you become so attached to the moment you become so attached to the flow of the moment that you cannot pull back and notice that right now I'm attached to what I'm doing and I feel like I have to do this because I'm going with the energy. If I stop right now, that means that I'll lose the energy. Then you start to go into freak out. This is what I used to do. I remember being there in front of the computer just for hours doing stuff. And my woman had to tell me about this too. 
for hours doing things and feeling like I don't want to do anything. I don't even want to go eat. I want to be right here and I want to stay in the zone. I want to do it. I want to stay in the zone. But then what you start to notice is after you come out of that, you're totally fried. You're like, after you come out of that, you're completely drained in many ways. After you come out of that, you feel kind of exhausted. Mentally, you feel like I was in so much focus, now I want to relax. That was too much. That's what I started to feel. I would go out and the same thing, let's say we're, we're talking to girls, I would go out and flow, 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 and it feel, and it's like, this is great. I'm in a zone. I don't have to wait any moment to go talk to this girl. I'm just going to run over to her because I know that I'm with the energy. Then I started to notice at the end, fuck, I'm like, I'm really hungry, man. Um, you know, I was wired for that time that I was doing it, but now I'm like at a standstill and I feel like I lost it and the next day I go out, I have to try to do it again. All this was the drawback of me constantly wanting to be in flow. People can become addicted to this as well because when you, when you start to move into that beautiful feminine rolling energy, you, it feels fucking great because now you're just flowing what you feel. You're, feel. you're actually flowing with the heart energy in that moment. As you flow with that heart energy, that doesn't want to stop. That wants to continue. That's the feminine. It wants to continue whatever it's doing. Just more and more and more and more. But the great thing about this is that once you can pull back while you're doing this, this is now when you will have the beautiful balance. That's why I brought you into this video because I want you to understand that flow state is beautiful, but it's destructive without awareness. When you combine both, you have the beautiful balance. When you combine both, you're the most powerful that you could ever be in whatever you do. The moment came to me when I was dancing. Dancing is a very flowing thing. You feel the energy and then you move. So if I had to dance for you guys, you know, you move and then you feel it. And as you feel it and you're there, you're like, oh my God, this is amazing. But then as you, as you notice what's happening, you just go, I'm going with the movement right now, but I'm not really being aware of what's happening. That's what I started to notice. I went, right now I'm flowing with this energy, but I could still see me wanting to get a crowd reaction. I can see me still wanting to care about what people think as I'm doing this. Because remember, flowing energy, it takes you out of your head, but it, it, get, it does get, make you totally engaged. So when somebody is there and they're, you're like, maybe they're giving you a weird look, you do become totally engaged in that. You do. Now, you don't have to identify so much because you're out of your head, but that can register back to you in some way, in a very harsh way if you are not aware. And this is what was happening to me, is that I was doing these moves and I was dancing and I was feeling good, but then I started to notice that I'm not being aware of the movement. I'm not. I'm flowing with what I'm doing and it feels good and I'm just going and I don't have to think, but if I just allow myself to become aware, this will become 10 times better. Because now I'll be able to see where am I actually giving up when I'm dancing? Am I giving up in this move or am I giving up at the end? Am I flowing with what I'm feeling when I'm doing with my feet? And, and, or am, am I not being aware of the, the fact that I can move this way or that way? It just starts to just come in to me like, whoa. Flowing is beautiful, but when you match awareness with it, it becomes more powerful. You can see better when you're aware. When you put awareness and flow state together, you can see better why you're engaged. This is the beauty. And this goes from everything from when you're working in front of a screen. You're there, you're working in front of the screen. I start to notice that right now I'm working right now and I'm enjoying this too. And I'm totally engaged, but I'm aware that I'm working right now. So this allows me to go, okay, right now I need to go eat. Because I know that going to eat will give me more energy of doing this. And my woman, she was someone that was beautifully able to tell me about this. She's like, baby, you're just going and you're just, you need to understand right now you need to relax. You're not working, don't work. 
And I used to go, yeah, but you know, and she goes, no, you're not working. And I didn't understand in that moment, like, why was she doing this? And sometimes, of course, I would still work and then sometimes listen to her. But then I start to go, there's something that I'm missing. And maybe you're missing it as well. Flow state without awareness is destructive. I need to have awareness there for this to be the most powerful. Of course, flow state can have its own beauty by itself, but when you add this element of seeing to it, it becomes yin yang or masculine feminine or outside looking in why, one, why something is engaged. Not moving, ener not moving energy, which is total space, and moving energy. It becomes this beautiful balance for you. So my dancing has become better simply because I've allowed myself to become more aware of what's happening. I'm not doing my move simply to flow with it. I'm doing and I'm more in control with it. I can feel what's happening now. I can pull my awareness into my hand as I do it. I can pull it into my feet. I can just move it around as I'm flowing. When I go see a girl, I'm no longer like I used to be like, oh, fuck, there's a girl going. Now, as you guys have heard me say, because this is why I tell you this, I look at the girl and I know that I can go talk to her, but I give myself a chance to take her in fully. And maybe she's walking past and I take her in and then I go. Because I'm aware, but at the same time, there's this beautiful rolling energy that I can feel on the inside that's moving. And I go with it. I do. This can be applied to any point of your life. Anywhere in your life, this can be applied. Whether it be work, whether it be you talking to women, whether it be you doing an activity. I started to notice now when I'm playing basketball that my, my awareness is in my feet. Before I should just flow and feel good, like I don't have to stop, this feels amazing. But now as I'm doing things, I can feel that right now I give up at these points. When I'm tired and I wanna get to the rim, I give up at these points. When somebody gets aggressive with me on the court, I back off. Even when I'm in flow, I back off because I don't want to get aggressive back so it can turn into something that's escalated. But I started to become aware of these things because I was aware while I was in flow state, which means I was outside looking in, noticing that I'm in flow. That's what it means. And this doesn't take you out of it. It brings you more into it. So it's a misconception that somebody will go, well, Tony, doesn't this mean that you're stopping yourself from going with the energy of flowing with something? I go, no, it engages you more because now you can see more. You can see more. It's like if I had the intention, like when you're walking down the street. Most people who walk down the street, they don't know that you can walk and meditate at the same time because they're not used to flowing energy and energy that's at the standstill or no energy at all. They're not used to that combination or even being aware of that. People are not used to, okay, I got to get somewhere, but while I'm getting somewhere, I can be quiet on the inside. People are not used to that. They're used to, I have to go somewhere and I'm going to be stressed out on my way there. Maybe somebody, as they're flowing, uh, maybe they're running, like when I jog. When I'm jogging, I'm well aware of that there's flow in, that's happening. There's flow that's happening. And I'm simultaneously aware as well. I like, I'm aware because sometimes I used to just be like, all right, I'm gonna push myself. And then at the end, I'll be like, <gasps> and I would just be so gassed and hurting almost because I'm just flowing with it. And I'm like, yeah, I don't have to, because I don't feel the challenge anymore. All I feel is everything feels good. But with the awareness of it though, I start to go, okay, I'm running really fast right now. I can slow down because I can enjoy this. This is this, who am I going against? <laughs> There's nobody around me. I'm running against myself. I don't have to do this. This then became different for me. That's why I want to give you this. People talk so much about flow state, but they don't talk about what flow state needs for it to be the most powerful. It needs this beautiful element of awareness. If it doesn't have that, it will become destructive because you will not be able to see. You will be so engaged that you can't see the engagement. You can't see what's happening. 
And this makes you more engaged because now you're the balance of both. Now you're not so engaged where you're like, oh, fuck, I don't want to stop. I want to keep going. Now you're like, yes, I'm doing this, but I can see what I'm doing. And this is fucking amazing. But right now I can see that, boom, there's a girl there. And I know that she's in a more similar mood. So I don't need to run over to her because I'm in this flow state. I can go over to her and glide because I know that with awareness, that'll be the place that we'll be able to relate right away. Right now, I'm working really intensely and fuck eating. I just need to finish this. I'm going to relax a little bit. Yeah, I'm working really hard right now and this is enjoyable for me. And I know I need to finish this, but I'm going to get something because I know that I am hungry. It gives you the chance to see. It gives you the chance and whatever you're doing to see what you're doing and become more engaged because you can see what you're doing. That is the beautiful beauty about it. This is why I love it so much. I've never heard anybody else talk about this. I haven't. And I'm like, how do people miss this? This is so insane that people miss this. Everybody's talking about the rolling energy, but they're not talking about how the rolling energy becomes destructive when you can't simmer it. It needs to become simmered at times. It does. It's great to flow with it. It's like if somebody was playing basketball and they only wanted the ball and kept the one in the go and flow and not stop and they're always moving and they would just go, okay, you got to slow down because you know that right now you guys are up a lot of points. So why do you feel the need that you need to keep going? Like, like of course you can be in your own zone, but why not dish the ball and just come down the court and just enjoy what you're doing as you're doing it more by being aware. I hope this gave you incredible insight into how you can start to have flow, but also have awareness with it. And this magical combination is gonna make everything much better for you. I promise you it will, because it's done that for me. To let you know, the New York tickets are ready. They are. I've been saying this in every video so far. Please, if you are in New York City or you're somewhere on the East Coast or you are somewhere even on the, on the East Coast but a little bit South, Southern, I am in New York City for the only time this year I am. But this is a chance for you to come join me. In the description box below, there is a link for you. If you go there, you will find out so much more about what I'm talking about, the seminar that I'm giving. It's the first of its kind, just the Q&A seduction seminar, where you can come there with your specific questions and have me answer it for you. In the meantime, I do have something free for you. There's this beautiful thing that I've created called Meet to Bedroom. And that is everything teaching you from how do you approach to all the way to what do you do when you get to the door stuff about how to bring the woman in and relax her. That's totally free for you. It'll be underneath the NYC seminar tickets. It'll be underneath that as a link. I want you to subscribe and I want you to share this because please, this is the new shit. This is things out there that people don't talk about. And this is something that I've allowed myself to go deep within myself to come to the realization of. And now you can start to share this with people. Like I always say, who you are is valuable for that which you want in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. This is Tony Solo saying, I see you guys tomorrow.